Hello, today we reach the 15th of June, 1520, so about halfway through the field of cloth of gold. There was a jousting on this day in 1520, but the weather was not good, rather like it has been in this past week, this June in Britain. Uh, it was wet and rainy and windy, so the kings did not participate on that day. So I thought we'd have a brief look at um, one of the people who was not at the Field of Cloth of Gold, the highest ranking member of the Tudor dynasty who was not there, was Princess Mary. She remained at home with her governesses and under the technical care of the Privy Council under the Duke of Norfolk. However, uh, because she was the intended, uh, the betrothed of the Dauphin, who was going to be her husband and secure this Anglo-French agreement, she was in fact visited by a delegation of French ambassadors towards the end of the period. And they visited her at Richmond uh, towards the end of June. And as the council proudly uh, told her father later, she uh, greeted them with most goodly countenance, proper communication and pleasant pastime. She also played the virginals and uh, greatly marveled and rejoiced the same her young and tender age considered. She was only four years old at the time, having been born in 1516. So we're used to seeing Princess Mary, Princess Elizabeth as uh, virtually a child prodigy and the marvelous queen that is about to, to become in her own time. But let's not forget that in her own time and as a young girl, Princess Mary was also evidently remarkably talented.